Boundary. So I basically start with this piece. This is my first piece, and I extend it to um, film other three pieces. Basically, um, I chose elephant eye because I was really interested in the wrinkles that elephant eye has, mm -hmm. and I think this is also kind of boundary, but no one will think about it because it's really special. So I started to use elephant eye for extending my work, and um, here. As you can see, I use really a lot of colors or dot thingy. Um, I use it because I am really inspired by Andy Warhol. Okay. And um, I wanted to get his technique, which is pop art, by okay. using some markers. So oh, I use okay. really a lot of color in here. Okay, yeah. I chose hand shape is the same region as elephant eye. I feel the lines of hand, and I think it's really interesting. So I think hands are tools that we can actually break boundary or make boundary. Oh, because okay. we can shape hands, we can like shaking hands and that could break the boundary between two people. Oh, but nice. also when someone is angry, they can curse each other using different fingers. So I mm -hmm. think we can also make the boundary. So I was looking at, I was researching about the different hand shape. And I draw, I used watercolor to draw it. And then I moved to the um, old hand shape. So by then, I was really inspired by the texture because I think it was really interesting to so use different color, the similar color, but make really rough texture. So basically, I brought the paint and I just use it with knife. Okay. And I could produce something that's really dynamic, but also very rough, rough on texture. And these are um, hand, hand printing. I, also, I drew, but also I used my hand to print the pieces. So um, this this piece is also inspired by Andy Warhol. Mm. Um, yeah, he's he's like he, sometimes he bring a famous star and he had like he located this face same face with different color. Yeah. So I think this was really interesting. So I used my hand print to do that. And here, this one I might say this is the most direct work that I have. I I, I use different color of hand print to show that it's hidden. The gap word is heated, but still we can see it's very direct. So, yeah, this is this is one of my favorite. This is another texture. I tried to get rid of using knife, and I tried to use different method to show the boundary and texture. So I basically painted, and I use knife, and I just cut everything. I rip everything, so you can see it's very. Um, you can convey very angry mood. Mm. So yeah, people who visited my exhibition, they said. They really like this piece because they said they can see how, I don't know, stressful I was, but I like this piece too. So I started this whole series with drawing the earth. Okay. And basically, it can be random because I just got inspired by looking at the earth, um, earth picture. And I think I can apply my texture using like knife mm. to this kind of piece. So I started with this. In my second piece, I was looking at how can I use proportion or the... Um, position to to make the gap so you can see there they seem like related but actually they're really separated okay so i think i try to show invisible gap space existing between these four planets yeah and here i use um movement i think this is my first time that i use movement for my work yeah so it seems really related they are actually real re related but they're getting bigger and from that point i try to show how boundary they are related and this is um, simply this work is my most favorite one. The name of this piece is Rise and Fall. Yeah. Um, this is my last piece. I finished it in great um, the end of Great Tall, and I I I made this because I think this can directly show how I started my work and how I finished my work. But also these are related because the movement of um, the planet is moving toward the center and it goes down. So I don't know. I try to show the boundary between that. I, when I chose art, I was not very confident because I thought I thought people who are good at art should have really high skill of high skills and they know how to draw and stuff. But yeah. I never trained like that. I never learned art before except grade ten. So I I was not confident, but I just wanted to challenge myself. So I chose this subject. And from the beginning, um, the reason why I chose marker, I think this was the reason what that shows how unconfident I was mm. because. Markers are usually just coloring stuff. It doesn't need any delicate um, line. After um, 
when I go into the texture series, I got confident and I truly understand that um, whether people think my works are good or bad, I don't care because it's my work. And um, I think it can, if they understand my um, purpose or theme, they might think my works can make sense and they think it's good. So yeah, I think as an artist, I really, the most achievement I got is confident. It's not only artist, but personally, I really got confidence. So yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs>